Hey YouTube, it's Studi for Life back at you with another product review for Ender 3 Pro printers and Ender 3s. Today we're going to be unboxing and installing a 100mm extension kit for the Ender 3 Pro and we'll get to it right after this. <laughs> extension, Z-axis extension for the Ender 3 and Ender 3 Pro. Let's go ahead and unbox it. I will put links down in the description uh, for this. We get some tools. There's our new Z-Rod. And our new rails. Looks to me there's nothing else in the box, and I believe that's all we need to extend the Z axis. So, ordered these parts from Amazon. The company they're from is First Layer. These guys have good products. I haven't had bad luck with any of their products yet. Um, their customer service is excellent, they're really responsive and talking with them, uh, troubleshooting, asking them questions. So, uh, like I said, good company to deal with. They make good quality parts. So let's go ahead and get this installed on the printer. So I tried to get as wide an angle as possible. I hope everybody can see uh, what I'm going to be doing. So the first thing we're going to have to do is take off our spool holder. And now we're going to disconnect our, the top of our printer. The next thing we're going to do is go ahead and remove our carriage. Our next step is going to be to flip our printer upside down. And disconnect the factory legs uprights. Make sure if you guys are using the Z end stop right here, you go ahead and take that off. You'll also want to disconnect your motor right here as well because we don't want that falling and flopping around while we're working on anything. Disconnect our power supply. Now, same thing as with assembly, make sure when you guys assemble this, you're putting the Z-axis leg upright with the two screw holes for your power supply on the right. And we are going to be using the stock screws that came out of our printer to put it back together. Now same thing on this upright, we want to make sure our holes at the bottom for our Z end stop and our extruder motor also go to the bottom and not the top. So 
the next most important step, step to do is make sure you measure the top and bottom of your uprights for your z-axis. We're at 13 inches on top and 13 inches on bottom. So if you don't make sure that this is correct, it's going to cause print issues in the future. We continue our assembly patterns. Now we will install our new Z-Rod. And now we will thread our gantry back on. Now that we have that back on, we'll reinstall the top to our printer. And that's all there is to it to install the Z-axis extension on your Ender 3 or Ender 3 Pro. The next thing we're going to do is take a look at what we need to do on the computer to make this extension function. So guys, in order to do this, I did have to edit my Marlin firmware, and you also have to edit your slicer of choice. I'm gonna be showing how to do it in Cura, and I'll show you how to do both of those things right now. Here goes nothing. Reality 4.2.7 main board with BL Touch, the Boom Gear Extruder, and the 100 millimeter extension that I just installed. So I haven't even done a test print. I'm doing the conception base from uh, my mini factory. I'll post a link down in the description for you guys. I've got it at 225%. It says it's going to take a day, one hour, and 44 minutes. So let's see what happens. And here it is, guys, the next day. And it printed awesome. Printed really well. I got a couple little, little spots here and there. But you can see next to the regular Ender 3 that I wouldn't have been able to print this high without that 100 millimeter extension. So I'm really happy with the quality. And here's the next day. Here's our nozzle printed on the same printer. Got a few little hiccups down in here. But overall, really good quality. Let's get this thing assembled. So the threads are really nice. And there we go. There's our base. Okay, YouTube, that's it for this week's video. Be sure you like and subscribe, hit that bell notification so you know when I send out my next video. And until then, you guys take it easy. Bye.